What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com recapping the news from the weekend as well as today and I just want to thank everybody for wishing me a happy birthday on Friday. Greatly appreciated. I tried to comment back to most of you but there was a lot of comments so if I missed your comment once again thank you. Also appreciate all the likes. We got a ton of them and going forward if you got a second please hit a like on this video and if you're not subscribed yet hit the red button just below the video. Now we have a lot to talk about today. Some new images leaked of the Air Jordan 6 Gatorade in white, orange, and green and there's actually some really cool details on them. We also have a release date for the Air Jordan 1 Flyknit Band aka Bread. A ton of Nike stuff, a little bit of Adidas, more Jordan brand, but with Without wasting too much of your time, let's jump into the news. Dwayne Wade showcased his upcoming Way of Wade 6, which will be dropping soon. We don't know when, but this next colorway features a predominant white takeover, and we have hits of metallic silver. Now, you're going to notice that on the midfoot strap, there is once again that carbon-like fiber overlay. I'm pretty sure it's not actual carbon fiber. It's probably just a pattern. And we have accents of light gray as well. Like mentioned, we don't have a release date or a retail price. I'm sure that the brand is going to get ready to launch them soon. If I had to put a time on it, it probably would be around fall. I might get a bit of heat for this, but I know the Adidas NMD is a popular model. I have a pair, just one, and they're somewhat comfortable. However, I feel like the brand is pretty much overproducing simple colorways. And Yes, they're trying to attract to the masses, but once again, we have an Adidas NMD R1 Prime Knit, which is dressed in core black and footwear white. The shoes somewhat have a gray upper due to the fact of white and black being combined together. We also have a stripe of gray that lands just above the toe box. In addition, black lands on the three stripes overlays, EVA pods on the boost midsole while the midsole is done in white. The last touch is light gray on the outsole. No release date for this pair, they drop sometime in fall, and retail price will be 170 Now, to be honest, the colorway isn't bad, it's just simple. It's just, I feel like we've seen so many black and white themed NMDs drop already. It's just kind of overkill at this point. Adidas Originals just unveiled the Adidas Climacool OG pack. So the pack includes the Adidas Climacool 1 and Adidas Climacool 0217. Both come in the original colorway of footwear white, core black, and red. Now as for the release details, they drop on July 21st at select Adidas Originals retailers. We don't have a retail price as of yet for the two, but more updates to come soon. We have another preview of the upcoming Adidas Ultra Boost 4.0, and the two shown are expected to drop during December of 2017 along with a triple white edition. One features black and white, the other one has a mixture of white and black on the prime knit upper and white on the boost midsole and black on the outsole. As you can see, the prime knit pattern across the uppers has been updated and from this preview there's not much more to go off of. Like I mentioned, December 2017 is when they're expected to release, but we don't have a retail price as of yet. I'm going to guess they're probably going to cost 180 it looks like the Drew League will have their own Nike Hyper Dunk 2017 low set to release. Now throughout, it almost appears like they're going with a what the theme, but I don't know what they're basing it off of, but it does feature graphics of palm trees and bricks. Various shades are used throughout. On the hill, we have Los Angeles and the Drew League logo lands on the tongue, while speckled detailing hits the midsole and an icy blue translucent outsole completes the look. So we don't have a retail price or even a release date expected to drop sometime this summer. Once more details are known, I'll make sure to update you. We finally have a release date for two Nike Zoom Vaporfly 4% releases. Now, a lot of people have been saying this model is going to compete against the Boost, and shortly I'm going to tell you why it won't. But apparently these are incredible running shoes. As for the looks go, I'm not so much of a fan of them. However, I wasn't a fan of the Ultra Boost, so I probably just need some time on this. So we got two colorways coming out one features blue fox bright crimson university red and black the second comes in ice blue bright crimson university red and blue fox the two will drop on july 20th and retail price is 250 and that's why i say it's not an ultra boost killer if you want to compete against that you're gonna have to drop the price but i'm not saying these aren't comfortable and really nice shoes i'm just saying that as for the price range if the comfort is somewhat similar a lot of people are gonna go for that 180 price tag come fall and win Winter 2017, the Nike Air Max 97 will be saturated. And when I say saturated, we have a look at 20 upcoming releases. As you guys probably already know, I'm not able to fit all these in the video or at least in this segment, but I will drop a link in the description below 
point you to sneakerfiles.com where you can check all of them out. Now, there's two new models. There's an Ultra Jacquard as well as an Ultra SC. Now, I want to point out three colorways because they're kind of interesting. So one is the Silver Bullet, but that is a Jacquard edition. You have some textile across the uppers. And then we have the Metallic Gold, which is done just like the Silver Bullet. The last pair resembles that of the OG Nike Air Max 95 Neon, and I actually really like that pair. But we don't have a set release date for all 20 of these. They'll just start to drop during fall and winter. I'm sure that a handful will drop at the exact same time. For example, the Ultra Jacquard. But more details on the way. Following a look at 20 upcoming Nike Air Max 97 releases, we got a closer look and release info for the Triple White Edition. Although they're being called Triple White, there is hits of gray along with black. Now for this pair, they drop on August 1st and the retail price will be 160. Nike Sportswear has a light bone collection coming. For example, we have the Nike Air More up tempo, but it looks like Nike Basketball is gonna borrow the theme as well. Shown on the screen is the Nike KD10 light bone and they feature that light bone across the entire uppers. Now there is a bit of a twist here. They do feature gum on the outsole, which I think is a nice touch, but I'm just not a fan overall. But hey, if you are, they're gonna drop during September sometime. We don't have a specific release date and the retail price will be 150. So far, we've seen three colorways of the Nike LeBron 14 low release, and the fourth one is on the way, which is being called White Ice. The shoes feature a predominant white takeover, and then we have Ice Blue that covers the translucent outsole. So this release is pretty straightforward. I do like it a lot better than the light bone drop, but I probably will wind up passing. We don't have a set release date, just dropping sometime this summer, but the retail price will be 150 we have new images of the Nike Air More Uptempo tricolor along with release details. So as you can see, three colors cover the uppers, black, gray, and white. The laces and tongue feature black, and that's pretty much it. Now the images shown is a GS version. They are expected to drop in adults, but not confirmed. And the date is set for August 12th, and the retail price is 160 We have another preview of an upcoming Nike Air Vapor Max Strap Edition. We don't know the actual name of them, so for now, we're just going to call them Strap. But this pair features multicolor throughout, more so across the mud guard, but across the uppers, they do feature multicolor, but black mixed in. Highlighted with an elastic strap across the midfoot, and as you can see, this is a laceless shoe, and so they won't feature flywire cables. No release date or retail price. They're rumored to drop during early 2018, but like always, more information on the way. For fans of the Nike Airshake Indestruct, we have two upcoming colorways for fall. The first one features cool gray. We have tumbled leather throughout, but on the heel, it does have patent leather, or it appears that they feature patent leather. In addition, we have white accents. The second pair features dark stucco throughout, which kind of has like an olive green look to them. And finishing the look, we have black accents throughout. No set release date. They're going to drop sometime during fall, but the retail price will be 140. I like the cool gray pair. It does remind me of the Air Jordan 11 cool gray. I think that's what the look they're going for, especially with the patent leather use. We have a detailed look at the off-white Nike Air Max 90 Ice collaboration. And as you guys already know, there's expected to be 10 pairs to release a part of this collection from off-white Nike and Jordan brand. Now, known as the Ice Edition, they feature an icy midsole. And we've seen this prior on other Air Max 90s, but the real difference here is the unfinished look and they have stitching across the swoosh, mud guard, and it says shoelaces on the laces stating the obvious. So we don't have a release date or even a time frame. I've heard August, but I don't know if that's for sure. Probably will be to be honest though, just because these have been leaking for a while and each month it gets pushed. Following our detailed look at the off-white Nike Air Max 90, we have an on-feet look at the off-white Nike Air Vapor Max. The shoes come in a black and white theme, stating the obvious once again, air in parentheses, and the swoosh, which has an unfinished look, it's pretty much stitched on. Other than that, the tongue looks unfinished, but everything else looks about right. Now, just like the Air Max 90, there isn't a set release date for this pair or a retail price. However, they're rumored to drop during August. In my opinion, I think the Vapor Max is the best looking pair in the collection so far. Just a quick update on the Nike Air Foamposite Pro Island Green. A lot of people, including myself, expected these to drop during July, but it looks like the release has been pushed. Well, it doesn't look like it. It has been pushed. Now they're scheduled to drop on September 8th, and the retail price will be $230. All right, so here's a model that I'm sure a lot of people won't like. I kind of like the uppers. The midsole's a bit off, but this is known as the Air Jordan Lunar Grind, and they come in a black and cement colorway. 
They mimic that of the Air Jordan 3 blacksmith that will release in 2018. As you can see, they feature black, tech gray, and fire red. We have cement print that lands on the overlays and wraps the hill, a textile upper, and a flexible midsole. So the retail price for this pair is $125. They are available now at Shoe Palace, but I'm sure you guys aren't rushing to grab this pair. Either way, if you do like them, I'm sure additional colorways will be available, but with that being said, this will probably be the best. We have new images of the Air Jordan 5 known as Deadly Pink for the use of what Jordan Brand's calling Deadly Pink and this is a GS exclusive. So as you can see, black covers most of the uppers. We do have white across the midsole and hits of deadly pink on the shark teeth as well as inside of the tongue. Now on the outside of the tongue, we'll have that ribbing look to it. I hate that, but the look is then completed with an icy outsole. As for the date, they drop on August 5th and the retail price will be 140. We now have a detailed look at the Air Jordan 11 Gym Red packaging and I feel a bit weird showcasing the package. I did it once before, but it was just like a brief look. Now we have additional images and I'm not gonna go into the box. I've done that already. And this will probably be the last time I share this. Um, the only other time I may share it is if something new comes out about it. I don't know, something unseen or interesting. However, the box and the shoes will drop on December 9th for 220. And like I've been saying, the release date could be pushed forward or back. December 9th is not set in stone. I'm sure a lot of people that watch these videos follow the NBA. And you already know Chris Paul joined the Houston Rockets, leaving the Clippers. Now, I guess in a way you could say things are official now because there were some images of him sporting the Houston Rockets uniform. And on his feet, he had the Air Jordan 11 Houston Rockets PE. So I'm sure some people will probably say they look somewhat like the Jim Red pair that's going to drop this holiday season, but that isn't the case. The red looks a lot different. Other than that, they feature leather on the uppers, and we do have patent leather where it normally be. Also, that red also lands on the midsole, and completing the look of this pair, we have a translucent outsole. I honestly think these are dope. I think Chris Paul gets a lot of dope Air Jordan 11 PEs. I'm not sure why of all the Jordan brand athletes he gets the most, but... He's my favorite player in the NBA, so I'm happy for him. With that being said, let me know in the comments section, would you take Chris Paul's PE or the Air Jordan 11 Gym Red that's dropping this holiday season? You can call him banned, you can call him bread, but the Air Jordan 1 Flyknit, which comes in black, varsity red, and white, has a release date. Now the shoes is highlighted with Flyknit across the uppers. We do have leather that lands on the wings and Nike swoosh. On the inside of the liner, they feature the production number, which is done in gold, along with 1985 with a unique graphic. Now, as for the release date, they dropped September 9th and the retail price is $180. Previously, it was being reported that they were going to cost $200. It looks like we have two Air Jordan 6 Gatorade releases that will drop during fall of 2017. Now, I've shown you a few times the green pair and now we have another look at the orange, white, and green pair. And this one is somewhat like the Carmine as far as the color blocking goes. Now with these images, there is one thing to point out. On the inside of the tongue, it says, if I could be, and that points to the Gatorade Be Like Mike commercial. What's also really cool is the lace locks resemble that of the Gatorade squeeze bottles and they have the Gatorade lightning bolt logo on one while the Jumpman is used on the other. In addition, the insole will also feature the Gatorade lightning bolt logo. And the release date is unknown, but for this pair on screen, they're expected to drop sometime during October, and the retail price will be $190. So now that I've seen this pair, I still like the green pair better. Maybe this will grow on me a bit more, I'm not sure. But let me know in the comments section, do you like the Carmine-like color blocking, or do you like the predominant green pair? And that recaps the news. Like always, we post it first on sneakerfiles.com, and then we take it to YouTube. So what I'm feeling from this video would be... The Nike Airshake Indestruct Cool Gray, I actually really like that shoe, probably because, like I mentioned, it resembles that of the Air Jordan 11 Cool Gray, somewhat. I also like the Way of Wade 6, I'm a fan of that model. I probably won't pick up the white pair, I like the Gucci pair, and I believe the Chicago pair. Those two are actually really nice. Other than that, I mean, the Gatorade 6, they're okay, I just feel like the green pair I like more. But, I'll probably need some more time and it'll grow on me. The Air Jordan 1 Flying It Band, aka Bread, it's okay too. I like them, it's just I'm not a fan of that loose Flying It, but we'll see once I get them in hand. Um, I know previously I was cool with the idea, I like the changes, and with that being said, if they're comfortable, I probably will pick them up. But that does it for me. Leave a comment below and let me know what you liked or what you disliked. Thanks for watching, stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com, and if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.